Um, I don't know if I should make two videos or just one, but then since this, if it's gonna be one, my skin's kind of bad, so yeah. I was thinking about wearing a hat, but I was like, screw this. So I don't know what you are using for skincare, but I've been using this Tony Moly Pure Eco Aloe Gel 92%. <laughs> I guess how? Uh, why do they do it that way? I was using this after my snail goop one, and I wanted to make a comparison, but then this thing is like basically the most basic of basic. Um, this one has like no triethylamine, artificial dyes, paraben, mineral oil, or benzophenone. So yeah, basically if you're like one of those like very, very picky people, then this might be something you want. But then there's so many like aloe, gel, gel form of aloe around, I don't think that this would be a, I don't know, a go-to kind of thing. So yeah. But then, what I like more about the snail goop one is that this one is way more like, it's more liquidy? I don't know, it's like, you can, it drips. The, the snail one is way more, what's the word that's like... I used to know all these words in science, I forgot. Um, it was way more sticky, and like... And it wouldn't drop, it wouldn't drip like that, so yeah. But anyways, I guess that's it. This is nice for $8, but yeah, I think it's worth the extra couple bucks if you want to try the snail version better. So anyways, I guess the real reason is that I got a package and I don't want to just leave it on my table for like a week. Um, and it's something sort of cool, so yeah. Um, basically, to quote Sia, I love cheap thrills, and this is kind of one. So the other day I was on 6 p.m. and I was looking at their underwear, and maybe for like over a year I was like, oh, maybe one of those really expensive branded underwear like from Dolce Gabbana or or um, what else was there like Versace or something is gonna have an underwear that's less than $20. And then, the other day, I saw one that's Dolce & Gabbana and I got it for $15 and it's right here. So yeah, um, I got these for 15 bucks. And they like, regular, and they retail for, and these retail for, does it even say here? Oh my god, I hope this fits me. It says it's an extra small for some reason. Maybe I should have got a bigger one. It retails for 52 bucks. Oh my god, I hope it fits though. It says extra small in the US. Or maybe people in Italy are just bigger. But yeah, um, it better feel like I'm sitting in an Italian sports car. It's not that nice looking though. I mean, I mean, I got another filler item just because I wanted free shipping and it's more exciting than just this like emblem and the brand. But I don't know, since this, it sounds extra small, but I think it's okay. So yeah, um, I can't deal with like taking off my shirt right now. So um, yeah. This is like a rare time because um, I usually wear briefs like 90% of the time, but sometimes when I get really bored or like I don't feel like wearing briefs, I wear trunks and this is one of the rare times I wear trunks. So yeah, my old like Calvin Klein trunks. I love these, but yeah, I don't know. I don't like how they like bunch up here, so I always like pull them up. <laughs> so anyways, um, let's get to the other ones. What's annoying is that like I actually referenced the size since their sizing is like according to number. And it said 
three was a small. But apparently it's a extra small according to this thing. But I think it's okay, I think it's okay. Okay, it's, it's fine. I think it's supposed to be like higher up here though, but yeah, so. There's nothing that special about these, except that they look like this. I mean, they do feel a little nicer. Let me see what it is made of. Um, I think it's just cotton, extra stretch cotton. Sports crust. It's 90% cotton and 10% elastane. What the hell? It says right here, like, does it focus? Can it focus? I don't, I don't want to buy a new lens. It says US extra small, and I was so scared it won't fit, and then I like spent $15 or nothing. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is how it looks. Like, yeah. Um. So, I guess this is like something you want to wear if you want to feel like super classy, but then you have to wear something that's low rise, and then this will like peep. But, yeah, other than that, there's no real point in wearing something like this. Uh. In other news, since 6 p.m. doesn't have free shipping like no minimum anymore, I had to get a second item to get free shipping. So I had to buy um, another underwear, and I got this to exist one. It's thirteen dollars. So yeah, do I even have my receipt in here? Doesn't say. Uh, I'll show my receipts in case you think I'm lying. Um, I'm pretty stocked on underwear at the moment. Um, my friend recently told me about this site called CheapUndies.com, I think. Is it about CheapUndies.com? And I thought I was like awesome coupon mom at underwear, but apparently not because that site exists. So here you go. Hopefully this is focusing. Hopefully you can read that because I can't read it on my LCD because it's way too small. <laughs> but it should be clear enough. So yeah, for the second item, I just got like a filler item because I didn't, I didn't want to pay for shipping. So I got this like cheeky to exist underwear and I bought like four under... And then I bought like four other to exist underwears because I wanted this really cute swim brief and I don't even have a swimming pool or go to one very often. I mean, well, my gym has a swimming pool. I don't just go to the gym for it. Why is it so big? Is it so big? Yeah, it's just... Wait, size is this? It is small. Why is it so long? So anyways, um... I mean, it's pretty, but it was basically a filler item. From the camera, it kind of looks leopardish, but it's not. It's just sparkly. Sparkle speckles. Speckly. Speckly. I guess in a way, it reminds me of, like... Rock. Yeah, this retails for twenty four or twenty. Yeah, this retails for twenty four dollars, and I got it for thirteen ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. I think it's twelve ninety nine. I can't remember anymore. Twelve ninety nine. And they look like this. I didn't remember to cut off the tags, otherwise I'm just gonna throw it in my basket and never like wash them because I never cut them off in the first place. And it's like I wore them already, so I don't think I can send them back with like my stink, so yeah. Wapow! But I like how like these remind me of like little kids underwear. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. Yeah, like this. So, well, anyways, what's the point of this video? Um, to my surprise, a size three in Dolce and Gabbana is extra small in U.S. Apparently, but if you're a waist thirty-two, I think you're you can get away with this extra small because. I kind of got this on a whim because because if you are a luxury brand, apparently going to 
the standard SML sizing is not cool. But, I mean, I did get Dolce & Gabbana underwear for $15. <laughs> so anyways, look forward to my next couple of videos or a couple of videos, or a couple of videos from now because there will be more of this. But I think that might be the end. I don't know, that's a lot of underwear. <sighs> but I wanted that stupid, really cute thing. So anyways, um, next video I guess, bye.